Hey guys, let's talk about temporary residence permits in Poland, aka TRC, aka Katar Pobutu, aka the worst nightmare. <laughs> Kidding. So, if you are a non EU citizen or you are from a non EU country or a third world country, when you come to Poland, you would most likely come to Poland on a visa. So, if you are looking to like uh, continue your, your stay in Poland, then you need to like apply for a temporary residence permit so you can get your TRC or Qatar Pobitu as it is called in Polish. So who is eligible for Qatar Pobitu TRC or temporary residence permit? Number one, if you come to Poland as a student, you would most likely get a, a one-year visa. You must apply for a temporary residence permit before your visa expires if you come to like study for your bachelor's i don't know master's uh, research phd as long as the length of your study it is more than three months you know you are eligible to apply for kata pobitu so how long would a student be given temporary residence permit for when you apply as a student you would most likely get trc or kata pobitu until the ending of your program after you, you finish your studies, master's studies or bachelor's or PhD, and if you don't have a job, you could still apply for, for TRC and you'll be given TRC for nine months. So provided that you can prove uh, your sustainability here in Poland. So you get temporary residence permit that is valid for nine months. So number two, when you come to work in Poland, you can apply for temporary residence permits. If you get a job outside of Poland and you need to relocate to Poland, uh, you can apply for a temporary residence permit. Initially, you would need to come on a work visa. When you get here, before your work visa expires, you need to apply for a temporary residence permit. Workers are usually granted one to three years residence permit, depending on the length of your contract if you have a long-term contract with your employer you will get a maximum of three years temporary residence permit number three marriage on the basis of your marriage let's say you are from uh, a non-eu country you came to poland initially on a visa and you got married to a polish uh, citizen you can apply for temporary residence permit uh, based on uh, your marriage yeah this is usually also like granted for a maximum of three years your marriage must be duly documented and recognized by polish law eligibility criteria number four based on what is called concubinat so concubinat is an informal or sexual relationship between two people that cannot get married or they don't want to get married but they are in an informal sexual relationship so you could get a temporary residence permit based on this i mean the most common ones that i've seen here in poland is usually for non-eu citizens is students and then work and then uh, on marriage basis these are the most common ones what is the average processing time for a temporary residence permit it varies on what kind of application you are making if you are a student worker marriage or there's so many factors that could affect your processing time the city the type of application that you are making if you apply by by post or if you apply yourself or if you use a lawyer or an agency so let's talk about the average processing time of temporary residence permits aka kata popitu in major cities in poland in Wrocław, it could take one to two years or more and when you get your decision it takes another three months for you to get your card but the immigration office is trying to improve things and and i hear people are now getting their temporary residence permits in less than one year so things are changing in Warsaw, the average processing time is four to six months and you get your card in one to two weeks in krakow another major city the average processing time is four to six months and you get your card in one to two months in Gdansk, the average processing time is around six months and you get your card in two to four weeks in poznan it could take between three three months to one year and you get your card in one to two weeks not only does your city choice or the city that you apply plays a major factor in how quickly you get your 
Kata probably to the type of application if you apply by yourself or if you use an agency or a lawyer also plays a factor. So this is where you have to be smart. I mean, you don't want to waste your time uh, messing up documents and just playing around with things. It is highly recommended that you apply it through an agency or a lawyer and they will sort out everything for you so you do not have to worry about messing up any document and you can easily put your mind at rest. This is how you can quickly process your temporary residence permit and get your Qatar Pobutu. So before your visa expires, when you apply, you get a, a stamp on your passport which is like confirming your legal status and it also shows that you have applied, you are living or staying legally in the country and you are just waiting to, to get your temporary residence permit but because it has been processed at this time. So what are the benefits of having a temporary residence permit, temporary residence card or Qatar Pobitu? It gives you like free movement within the EU, within the Schengen zone. Like you don't need a visa anymore. You can travel freely within the EU, go to Germany, go to France, go to Italy, Finland, Switzerland, all these beautiful countries. So you don't need a visa anymore. And other benefits are um, in the country that you are living, which is Poland, you will now be eligible to, to pay for things in installments. You are eligible to, to take bank loans, provided you have a job. I mean, you have a job with a long-term contract. So this is what will make you eligible for things like this, having a Qatar Pobitu. And then your temporary residence permit years that you are staying legally, it counts towards your permanent residence and towards your citizenship if you plan to stay in Poland for a very long time. So guys, that's it. If you have any questions, drop it in the comments and I will answer them. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel because if you want me to keep on dropping helpful videos like this, this is the only way that you can help me and support me. So share this video with your friends so that they can have this knowledge. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one. Bye.